No need to introduce Era Wegelander has been one of the main party hotspots in Berlin. Every weekend you will see thousands of partygoers pour out of the neighboring Warschauerstrasse station. Some say that it has become a little touristy over the years. Still, with a wealth of clubs, bars, restaurants and even the weekly floor market, uh, there is always something nice to do here. It is nice. Guilty as charged, I've never been quite sober when I was around here and it was often night time. So maybe you will forgive me when, for all those years, I never realized there was a wartime bunker hiding in plain sight. I'm sure you already know this. This whole site here used to be a massive workshop where trains were repaired. Founded in 1867, this site was originally called the Reichsbahn, the Reichs, Reichsbahn, Reichsbahn Ausbesserungswerk, <laughs> or the German Imperial Railway Repair Factory, God. or in short, RAW. No trains are repaired here anymore, but another peculiar structure took its roots here in 1940. What you see behind me is nothing less than an overground bunker. And to be fair, it's not immediately recognizable among all the other buildings here. You see, underground bunkers are very good at protecting people, but they are very expensive to build, especially in the swampy and sandy grounds of Berlin. <laughs> Overground bunkers were cheaper alternatives and faster to build too. At the height of the war, there were a few hundred of those scattered all over Germany. The reason why it was deemed safe was thanks to its main feature, the cone-shaped roof. It was designed to let bombs bounce off the building to then detonate on the ground. Inside, the structure would very much look like a snail shell with ramps for access on either side along the walls with the safe zone being in the middle. At the very top, there would also be a periscope, so the refugees inside could peek outside to see if it was safe to go out after an air raid. <sighs> it's hard to find documentation on how it felt to find shelter in there during an air raid. You might have survived, but there are reasons to believe that you might not live unharmed. An early test conducted with goats led, them the, whole, led the whole herd to be deaf after just one bombing. When most Hochbunkers were destroyed after World War II, this one survived. And that's because it was used to store inflammable and explosive products that were used to fix East German trains. Today, this thing goes by many nicknames, but most will call it the Kegel, which means the cone. And it has found a use that's rather putting people at risk than protecting them, rocket climbing. Visitors come to Berlin often for one of those things. History, art, culture, all parties. At Eravigelände, you get all those things combined into one. Oh.